In this video, we are gonna look at home ownership. Is it better to buy a house, rent a house, and every situation is gonna be different. So let's check out this calculator right here. If you remember from last week, we had an assignment called Future Work Life. And in that assignment, uh, what you did is you looked at the cost of living in different areas. So I want you to go back to that assignment and look at the average home price and look at the average rent price and you're going to use those numbers to kind of calculate this because you you know you might not know where you want to live but it's a, it's a good activity to go through. So here we got Boise. Average home price is about 350000 It's certainly going up right now. So, But this is kind of what I feel comfortable paying and I'm trying to do this as realistic as possible. Uh, here we have a down payment. So when you go to buy a house, you need to do a down payment. And what that is is a certain amount of money that you pay right up front, right? That you're saying, all right, because typically you can't buy, you know, typically somebody's not going to have this 350000 to buy a house just like that. They're going to need to take out a loan, which is also called a mortgage, and I'll get to that in one second. So for your down payment, you know, 5%, that's a, a fairly low down payment, but I believe you can get away with that, especially if it's your first home because they try to encourage home ownership. Um, 20% would be great. If you could put down a 20% mortgage or down payment, right? That's going to cost $70,000. And these numbers may look high to you right now, but in the future, if you are saving money appropriately, you know, you're definitely going to have this. Um, so, okay. Uh, so that's your down payment, right? And theoretically, uh, you know, this is an official financial advice. I do need to say that. Um, but a good rule of thumb is to put down a larger down payment just to be, make sure that you're safe, right? You already have $70,000 of your house paid off versus the $17,000. So let's leave that alone. Here's your mortgage interest rate. So again, a house loan is called a mortgage and your interest rate is 2.75, which is super low, right? And you want this to be low. The lower, the better for the most part. Uh, when we talked about loans and credit cards and student loans, uh, you know, interest is the money that you have to pay to borrow money. So it's it's money that you are losing, but sometimes it's um, a good move to take out and pay some interest. But um, all right, here is loan term. So housing loans tend to be somewhere between 15 years to 30 years. So we got 30 years or we got 15 years. So we got two options here. Uh, either one is fine. There's some good recommendations. I'll show you those in a second. Typically, you want this to Typically, you want to pay your, your loans off as fast as possible. That's going to save you the most money. I'll show you that in a second. And then we're looking at monthly rent. So for me right now, I'm paying $475, splitting a two-bedroom apartment with a roommate I have. And all right, let's check out this graph here. So the yellow line is the cost of renting a place. The blue line is the cost of buying a place. And so if I was going to live in this place the rest of my life, right, which I don't have a garage, I don't really have my own backyard, right, um, and I would like those things. So I'd like to buy a house at some point or at least live in a house at some point. So um, based on where I currently live and versus buying a $350,000 house, renting is certainly more affordable, right? And this is going to vary based on your location and the cost of everything. So yellow line is lower, which means that renting is always going to be cheaper than buying. However, if I, you know, want a family someday and I want to live in a house with multiple bedrooms and a backyard and a garage, rent is probably going to cost me at least $1,500, maybe more, right? And so let me, uh, let me just bring that back real quick. So again, this yellow line is renting, this blue line is buying. As soon as I type in $1,500, you're going to see them switch places. And here we have the yellow line, which is renting, is now more expensive than buying a home. And so um, as you can see, at year four actually is where buying a home becomes more affordable. So if I was planning on staying in Boise for more than four years and I was going to be paying $1,500 in rent, uh, I should be buying a house technically, right? Based on this calculator here. So, um, th and this is long term, right? Short term, yeah, it's gonna be quite a lot more expensive, but long term, I'm gonna be saving lots of money. And that's how we wanna be thinking about things is long term. And home ownership, um, I think Dave Ramsey says it is, uh, um, one of the steps to becoming a millionaire. And you're probably going to be a millionaire, right? And that's hard to believe right now, but um, I'll show you how that happens uh, in the next video with investing. So you are probably going to be a millionaire at some point in your life. All right, let's look real quick. Uh, I stole these rules for home ownership uh, from Dave Ramsey. Um, he seems to be fairly conservative, and I, yeah, I kind of like his advice on financial stuff. So number one, you need to get out of debt, right? Pay your student loans off. Make sure you don't have credit cards, car loans, you want to get rid of all that stuff. Because if you're paying debt, you're paying interest, which is going to kind of hold you in debt a little bit. So for most of us, we want to be out of debt. Um, next, you want to establish an emergency fund. Uh, we've talked about this. $6,000 is kind of what your goal is. It's like a six-month emergency fund. Although when you get a family, this is going to be um, larger, right? Once you have that, uh, then you want to start working on building a strong down payment. So if you remember that 
5% down payment versus a 20% down payment. And let me actually just show you that while I talk about it. So 5%, which would be 1,700 versus 20%, which would be 70,000. This would be a strong down payment. 5% would not be a strong down payment. And we'll see the consequences of that in a little bit here. Uh, let me go back to the PowerPoint here. Um, all right, the next is the payment. So you're gonna, when you take out a mortgage or a housing loan, you are gonna be making monthly payments, just like rent. Um, and what you want it to be is about a quarter of your income. I mean, or less, but a quarter of your income. If it's more than that, uh, you can financially strain yourself, right? So if you make $2,000 a month, you should only be paying $500 uh, in rent or in buying a house. And that's where I'm at and that's what I do, right? Uh, so there you go, quarter of your income. You don't wanna be buying more of a house than you can afford. That's a good way to get yourself in a bad situation. Um, and then here, Dave Ramsey recommends a 15 year fixed mortgage. And so let me show you that. So fixed mortgage, so again, that's your loan. 15 years means that you're gonna be paying that off. Uh, 15 years means you're gonna be paying that loan off for 15 years, whereas 30 years means you're gonna be paying that loan off over 30 years. And so let's, uh, let's jump over to this calculator for this. So again, here's our home price. And this green line is you paying off your house. So at the end, it's about 350,000, right? This blue line is the amount of interest that you had to pay in order to borrow that money. So if you're paying off a loan over 15 years, uh, this $350,000 loan, you are going to pay uh, about $67,000 in interest. And now that's gonna be worth it long-term in this situation if I was renting a more expensive house. But let's look at a 30 year, and this is really what I wanna compare. So 15 year versus 30 year. Again, we're looking at this blue line. Notice how it's way higher. Now we're looking at 165,000. So by paying off your housing loan in 15 years, over 30 years, you're gonna be saving almost $100,000, which is quite significant, right? So plenty of people take out 30 year loans. It works just fine for them. I had a friend who um, has a 30 year fixed loan. I have multiple friends who have 30 year fixed loans. That seems to work just fine. Uh, but if you can manage it, getting a 15 year fixed loan is gonna save you a significant amount of money. Uh, we can also look at, let's go back to this 30 year, this down payment. So you had 5% down payment again, you're gonna pay 165,000 in interest. If we change this to 20 years, let's look at how much interest you're paying. In 20 years, you are gonna be paying $136,000 versus 165,000. So you're gonna save about $30,000 by putting more of a down payment um, down. And this is 5% to 20%, so everybody's gonna be different. Another element of home buying is, especially if you think about the Boise market, uh, right now, you know, a house that's $350,000 in Boise today, about seven years ago, cost about $200,000. So if you buy a house in a market that is growing, uh, your housing price could increase and you don't have to pay more for that house because you've already bought the house. You might be paying loans on it, but your housing price increases, which means you're just making more money in the long run. Uh, housing prices can also go down, right? So, um, but historically, they have seemed to trend upward and we'll talk about inflation later on. So... Um, all right, I think that's good for this video. I will see you in the next one.